group of students that I worked with, um, these students were from a very low performing school. Their school was ranked pretty low. I mean, it was actually ranked amongst the lowest schools in the country. And I remember walking into this, this workshop with these young people and telling them that we're gonna publish a book and nobody believing that it could happen, not even the teachers. And, and so I knew that that was going to become sort of the theme for our work over the course of that workshop, is that you can do it. I don't care what others' expectations are for you. I don't care how people have lowered your goals. You can accomplish this. And so these students, they called their book, Find Me Beyond Statistics, Inside Teardrops. And so, you, you know, these kind of things, they hurt. You know, when people are talking about your school and, and your, your low-performing school, but these kids designed the cover. They wrote the poems. They proofread the text. They ordered the barcode. They did all of the work to make this book come alive. They not only wrote it, but they published it. I think that's the, you know, the beauty of this, this, this page-to-stage workshop is that, yeah, students are going to write and publish a book. But I think ultimately the bigger thing is that students are going to realize that their dreams can come true if they have a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of information. I think those two things come together and you have an impact like this book, which really sort of, you know, empowered these young people. You know, I, I believe that teachers and, and administrators are always looking for exciting, innovative, sort of surefire ways to get their students engaged with reading and writing. I mean, who doesn't want that? You know, I'm preaching to the choir when I say that. So how do you then do that? How do you get your most um, uninterested or, or, you know, reluctant reader and writer and your most avid and engaged reader and writer? How do you get them all sort of, you know, galvanized and united around the power of language and literature? And certainly, you know, there are many different ways to do that. I happen to believe that the way to do that is to really show that reading and writing is fundamental, to really show that reading and writing is, is the most elemental of, of tools that allow us to become more um, productive citizens. And finally, I happen to believe that reading and writing should be cool. And I like to think that I'm the guy to make it cool. So why do I think page to stage to sh come into schools? Because I think I can make writing and reading cool for your students. I think I, can make, I think I can make it fun. That is not to say that I can't make it informational because that's, yes, at the root of it, yeah, we wanna learn how to write a sentence. We wanna learn how to use figurative language. But let's start at the beginning. Let's get kids excited about it. Let's show them that reading and writing can sort of come off of the page and we can make it come alive on the stage. Some really famous writer, <laughs> and I don't remember who it is, but I remember what they said. And they said, if you, don't, if you can't find the book that you want to read, then go write it. And so, yeah, page to stage writing workshop. I think at a very fundamental level, your students are going to be able to write their stories. They're gonna be able to write their lives. And then they're gonna be able to share it with the world. And as a writer, that's all we want. We wanna be able to write a good book, an honest and authentic book, and then to be able to share it with the world and hopefully have some small, if not significant impact. Yeah, I think I wanna change the world. And I know it sounds grandiose, it sounds big, but for a child, it doesn't. They think they can do anything. So why not let them write their stories and change the world?